Okay, this video is a documentation of a homemade fresh air mask. Uh, I do quite a bit of sandblasting and some painting. And so I went and did quite a bit of searching around for the cheapest hose and the cheapest fittings and all that. Um, I'll just go through a list of what I've got. All this stuff, except possibly the fan, is from Lowe's. Uh, this is in their plumbing section. This is a Utilitec Universal Sump Discharge Hose Kit. It is 24 feet long, so that gives me a lot of length. It came with these two fittings, uh, both of which I'll be using. I bought two, they actually came in packs of two, I'll be using four all together. 14 by 20 cheap ass filters. I also went to Walmart and got this plastic container which I'm going to use to pull the air from. And I'm, I'm uh, in a mobile home that I converted to a shop. And I'm going to use one of the windows to mount that in and pull fresh air from outside. This is an old um mask that I had laying around that I'm gonna that I'm going to uh, take apart and use specifically the filters because I don't want to use the new filters from this mask here. I also have a Brone model 673 vertical discharge fan. It's round and I found that's important because this fitting here, which is... Uh, at Lowe's a GVL 0040. It's a 6 to 4 reducer. And it happens, and it, well, so we'll go ahead with the rest of it. This is a 3 inch to inch and a half reducer. Uh, it's an ABS reducer. And then this is a threaded street fitting. So it goes inside of this. This just happens to fit almost exactly inside of that. And then this happens to fit exactly over that. So you end up with this setup right here. Now the way this is going to work is this fan is going to actually mount vertically and it's going to mount on top of that box right there. And what it's going to do is it's going to blow air. I'm going to hot glue gun or silicone or whatever this setup together and it's going to pull air out of that box this fitting here, which is inch and a half to inch and a quarter, which came with that kit, threads in here, like so. And I don't plan on sealing any of this up too terribly bad because if I need to replace it, I don't want to have to break it and all that stuff. So it's all going to go together dry except for possibly the um, fan to galvanize fitting. And then um, we're going to hot glue gun this fitting into the side of this filter piece. And I'm going to hot glue gun it so that it's all sealed up. I'm going to actually pull all the paper material out. And that old fitting is going to go on this new mask. And then I'll just put this one on there and I'll block it off with tape or whatever I need to. So I'll go ahead and document the steps as I go along. So a couple other things I forgot to mention in the videos. You'll probably need duct tape. I've got the hot glue gun out and my impact gun. And I also have my little miscellaneous screw thingy. I went ahead and put two screws in, one there and one here to secure it. And then I'm going to duct tape it, duct tape the seam. And that'll keep it leaking air. Probably going to do the same thing up here with the ABS fitting. So this side's sealed up. I'm going to have to take these little nippers and my box cutter and gut this side of it so I can get the thing open. Uh, let you know how that goes in a sec. Alrighty, so I hot glue gunned it and I gutted it. I left a little bit of the insides to add support, but I hot glue gunned it together so that uh, it won't come apart. And I'm going to put the fitting in here next. Alright, I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm going to slowly zoom in. 
These are both glued in. I had a little bit of a time getting that hole filled in. This has also been filled in with hot glue. That's why it's shiny. Um, so these are just glued in. That's been gutted. That I'm not breathing through, so I don't care. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook these up to the new mask and see how see how it looks. And then I'm going to start working on the hose portion and the, uh, and the filter portion. So I taped this up. And there's these little supports right here. And they got in the way of the fan, so I cut this one out a little bit. But basically I just traced on here the outside of that ring right there. And then I also traced, and then I just guessed on the inside just enough to, I'm going to go buy a little screws after I cut that inside hole out to attach these two. And then I'll hot glue gun it or duct tape it or something. And what's going to happen is, sorry about the color shift, it's evening in here. This is going to go on here like so. Let me get back. And what's going to happen is this mount is there's going to be a board that runs across the top there that both the plastic and those little things mount and the tabs mount to. Probably a 2 by 6 will work fine. That's also how I'm going to head out the opening for the plastic box. And I'm going to get some foam so it doesn't leak air. So it'll make more sense when I actually cut the wood and um, have this in place so you guys can see it better. Anyways, I'm going to cut this plastic box out next. As you can see, I cracked it. <clears throat> uh, I tried to go around it a number of times with the knife, and this plastic is uh, typical plastic similar to um, plexiglass. Uh, it it'll crack um, under flex pressure and I was pushing hard with the knife and bam it just cracked so lesson learned they're cheap I'll go buy another one I wanna see I wanna get this fitted up in the meantime um, but I'm on the next one I'm actually gonna use jigsaw with a fine blade because uh, this didn't work and I actually tried to heat weld it so you can see how deformed it is and it doesn't heat weld well either so uh, threw some duct tape on there just to get it fitted up, dry fitted, and I'll go buy a new one and, and actually um, install a new one.